Hey everybody, Kristen from A Mindful Mom. You know I believe homemade is best, but it doesn't need to be complicated. And today's recipe, I'm gonna share with you how to make Instant Pot Chicken Cacciatore. This is a classic Italian-American dish, and we're gonna make it fast using our Instant Pot without sacrificing any flavor. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is hit saute on your Instant Pot and add in about a tablespoon to a two tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna let our oil heat while we season up our chicken here. I have about one pound or four boneless, skinless chicken thighs today. I really like using chicken thighs for this recipe. They just have a lot more flavor than chicken breasts and really, really add a nice, nice richness to the sauce. You could certainly use boneless, skinless chicken breasts. You could use bone-in chicken thighs as well. I don't recommend using skin-on chicken thighs as it can make your sauce pretty greasy, but you can certainly use um, bone-in skinless chicken thighs. Whatever you have on hand, whatever's on sale at the grocery store. Make sure you season both sides of your chicken. Want to layer that flavor in. Once your oil's heated, you wanna add in your chicken to the oil. Nice sizzle there. And you wanna place them in a single layer so that they're not overlapping and they can brown up nice. We're just gonna saute our chicken for about one to two minutes on each side. And what that's gonna do is it's just gonna help give the chicken a nice texture and to develop some caramelization. After your chicken has been seared on each side, just until it's lightly golden, remove it to a plate. It's okay that it's the same plate that I seasoned my chicken on. Our chicken's not fully cooked. We're gonna finish cooking it in the Instant Pot so all the bacteria will be killed. And then to this oil, while my Instant Pot is still on saute, I'm going to add in one small minced onion and two bell peppers that have been diced. I have a red and a green bell pepper. You can use any color you like, two reds, two green, yellow, orange. Just gonna let that saute just until our onions begin to soften and our peppers soften a little. Chicken cacciatore is typically a dish that simmers for hours and hours and it just develops incredible flavor. It's nuanced with wine and peppers and onions and olives and capers and we're gonna make it so fast. That's the magic of the Instant Pot. It has restaurant appeal and it comes together pretty quickly. Okay, my onion's starting to soften there, so I'm going to add in one cup of sliced mushrooms. You can use button mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, baby bella mushrooms, whatever's on sale. Saute that for just another minute or so, just to let our onions and give off some more flavor and our mushrooms absorb all that rich olive oil and pepper and onion flavor. I know sauteing everything when you're pressure cooking is an additional step, but it is well, well worth it. Doing this is really gonna help add incredible flavor to our sauce. The onions and the peppers are really just going to give off their natural sweetness, and it just, it really takes the dish up a few notches. So I recommend taking an extra couple minutes to saute your peppers and onions and mushrooms and sear your chicken and it will take a good dish to an exceptionally delicious dish. Finally, I'm gonna add in a couple cloves of minced garlic here, about two teaspoons, and we just wanna toast that for just 30 seconds. Don't want to burn your garlic. You'll ruin your dish fast. That looks good, and so to deglaze the pan here with the Instant Pot still on saute, I'm gonna add in a half a cup of dry white wine. You could use a Chardonnay, a Pinot, 
a white blend, a Riesling, whatever you have on hand, but you do wanna make sure that it's a wine, it doesn't have to be expensive, but you wanna make sure that it's a wine that you would drink um, so that it doesn't leave a bitter flavor in your chicken cacciatore here. If you don't cook with alcohol, feel free to use additional chicken stock or broth. It's really gonna still be delicious, but the wine just adds a nice, acidic richness to the sauce and makes it taste more authentic. We're just gonna let that saute for just a minute, just to reduce and really concentrate in flavors. And while it's simmering here, I am scraping up all the brown bits on the bottom of the inner pot. That'll prevent a burn notice from happening. It also adds flavor to your sauce. All those brown bits, mm mm, -mm delicious. That's looking good, so I'm gonna hit cancel on my Instant Pot to turn off the saute function. And now we're gonna layer in our ingredients to really bump up this sauce. I'm adding in a half a cup of low sodium chicken broth for a six quart Instant Pot. If you had an eight quart Instant Pot, you would wanna use a full one cup of low sodium chicken broth or chicken stock. And I'm going to add just another pinch of salt and pepper. We seasoned our chicken, we wanna season our sauce now. There we go. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of capers. Capers are just like briny little goodness. Oh, they just add so much flavor to so many dishes. Mm -mm, I love them, can you tell? I'm gonna add in a half a cup of sliced olives there. You can use Kalamata or black olives. I'm gonna add in two teaspoons of dried oregano, a pinch of red pepper flakes. Well, actually more like a fourth of a teaspoon. It's quite a bit, but it's a lot of sauce and it's really, really gonna just keep our sauce super flavorful and not overwhelm the dish. You could certainly decrease it though if you're a little bit more sensitive to spice. And then we can add our chicken back to the inner pot. Just wanna nestle it in to the liquid there. And then I do like to add those juices that accumulated on the plate into the inner pot. Extra flavor. And then finally, I'm gonna add in 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes. We're gonna add that right on top of the chicken and we're not gonna stir in our tomatoes. Or we could cause a burn notice to happen, but when it's sitting on top of the chicken and the liquid, it'll be good. That's it. So now we're gonna pop our lid on our Instant Pot. Make sure your venting knob is pointed towards sealed. And then to set the cooking time, you're gonna hit manual or pressure cook and use the plus or minus buttons and adjust until it reads eight minutes. After the cooking time has elapsed, you wanna let pressure release on its own for at least 10 minutes. That's super important anytime you're cooking meat to keep it super tender. And then after pressure has been released, you wanna open up your Instant Pot. Oh, does it smell good in here? All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fish out our chicken and put it on a platter until it is so, so tender. I am going to thicken up the sauce a little bit by just putting this on saute, totally optional. There's really, you don't need to do it. If you're in a rush, you can go ahead and just dish your chicken up and the sauce right now, but by turning it on saute, so I'm gonna hit cancel to turn off the keep form function and saute, and just kind of letting it thicken just a little bit. It's just really going to bring a richness to the dish. And I'm gonna add in one to two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. I'm adding in two tablespoons. I really like that punch of bright acidic flavor. You do what you like. And we're just gonna stir that in and let this cook just for a minute or two, just to finish developing some flavor. Let that balsamic marry with the flavors there. Mm. I'm telling you, it smells so, so good. Now, let me tell you a parenting secret. I have picky kids, probably like a lot of you. And 
through the years, I've just learned that there are some things I can do so that they will try new dishes. And the cacciatore sauce may be a little bit off-putting to some kids with the mushrooms and the peppers and the onions and the capers and the olives. All that is a lot of flavor, but kids eat with their eyes just like we eat with our eyes. So sometimes what I like to do is take the sauce and blend just a little bit for my kids. They love it. They don't know, realize that they're eating the same exact dish that their dad and I are eating with the peppers and onions and mushrooms, but they're, they like it because it's a smooth sauce. So just a little parenting tip. It takes a couple extra minutes to blend the sauce, and then everybody's happy. And when everybody's happy, the chef is happy. And we definitely want the chef to be happy, AKA you. Again, it doesn't take long for this sauce to simmer here. In fact, it's bubbling pretty good right now. So I'm gonna hit cancel. And then to dish up our chicken cacciatore here, I have some pasta, just some linguine noodles that I cooked up a piece of the chicken. It is like falling apart tender. You could shred the chicken, you could dice the chicken and mix it in your sauce, or you could just serve it on the noodles and serve with a fork and a knife and that's fine. Whatever you guys like. Whatever makes it easier for your family to enjoy. Then dish some of that sauce over the noodles. And then I have some fresh Parmesan cheese and I'm just gonna grate that over the top I always like to use fresh Parmesan. It just has the best flavor. Mm, mm, mm. I am digging in. Mm. 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 It is so, so good. It tastes like it has simmered for hours and hours and hours. And it came together in under an hour using the Instant Pot, really in under 30 minutes. It is rich, it's got some acidic notes. It's just the peppers, the onions, gives it a nice freshness. It's so good and it's so easy to make using your Instant Pot. For another easy Italian American recipe, be sure to catch my next video where I share with you how to make Instant Pot Fettuccine Alfredo. Until next time, happy cooking.